From the political lenses to the economy, security and social life, 2018 has been an eventful year. They are saw the rise of the New People Power Movement that rose out of the discontent after Parliament amended the Constitution and scrapped the 75-year presidential age limit. The events of 13th August during the Arua Municipality by-election when the People Power Leader and Chadono East MP Robert Chagulanyi, popularly known as Bobby Wayne, was arrested, gave rise to many other events that followed such as the arrests, the resultant protests, hospital admissions and court trials. I want a free 2019 and having that, I'll first of all go by what I've learned through Christmas to forgive my enemies, to forgive those who tortured me. Governance expert and political analyst Professor Gerard Karieja believes more pressure groups will emerge in 2019 and they will be stronger than political parties as vehicles of change. People Power Movement has just been one of the vehicles that captures their imagination and seems to articulate their interests better than other political parties. So as long as the issues being raised are not tackled, Bobby Wine and others are just agents or champions of that phenomena. In the security circles, the long-serving Inspector General of Police General Kare Kaihura was relieved of his duties in March and replaced by his deputy Martin Zokotho Chola. <laughs> Kaihura was later arrested and charged in the court martial for aiding and abetting the kidnap, repatriating Rwandan exiles and refugees to Rwanda between 2002 and 2016 and the failure to protect war materials. This cleanup of the police also saw the arrest of Abdallah Kitata, the patron of the notorious Boda Boda 2010. As was the case in 2017, where at least 23 women were murdered in Entebbe and other parts of Wakiso district. More mysterious killings were recorded in 2018. On 8th June, a known assailant ended the life of a Roman municipality MP Ibrahim Abiriga at Kawanda, Wakiso district. And so I missed both a comrade in Allah, I miss a friend as a soldier. And I believe many of you, and indeed the country, miss a friend, a jovial friend at that. Three months later in September, former Wienda District Police Commander Mohamed Chirumira was brutally killed in a similar manner near his home in Bulenga, Wakiso District. These incidents coupled with kidnaps and murder for ransom including that of youthful Susan Magala who was kept for three weeks and later murdered undermined the country's security. Whoever was behind it demonstrated that the strength of NRM which has been peace and security was being uh, undermined or was being uh, downplayed. So the extent to which we see these murders not man come up again, similar murders come up again in 2019, will demonstrate whether the center is holding or not. And that also goes back to the question of legitimacy of both the NRM and also the state as Uganda. Habad Ziwa, NTV.